Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Kyla, and as you can tell by the title, today I'm going to be reading my summer bucket list and giving you ideas for what to do this summer. I went over the top. Um, I made like one that's a whole poster board size. When I made the list, I wrote in my notebook or whatever all the ideas before writing them down. So I'll give some ideas that I didn't put on my list too. So in total we have 50 ideas. 50 things to do this summer. So there's no reason to be inside. Let's be outside. But yeah, let's just get straight into it. I'm probably going to read off of my list. So yeah. Number one, host a game night. I've been thinking about hosting a game night since my birthday. And my birthday was, or since after my birthday party, my birthday party was April 1st, and I still have yet to host a game night, so I just want to bring all my friends together, we can play games, a game night. Travel to three plus states. So this is my summer bucket list alone, and what I'm doing is, I'm just, whatever I don't do this summer, it's going to overflow into my next bucket list, because I'm going to start doing bucket lists every year, so just keep that in mind. Have a sleepover on a trampoline. I know y'all have seen like when people have a sleepover outside and they put like a cover and fairy lights and I have a trampoline. So it's just like, why not? Like, why not? Sounds like a good time to me. Gain 100 plus new subs. So that's one that's like personalized to me because I want to gain subscribers. Um, but that can go for anything. That could be followers. Like if you're an influencer, you can gain like, tr your goal can be to gain X amount of followers or subscribers stuff like that ride scooters with friends downtown at night and specific scooters I'm talking about are the orange like electric scooters I rode that for the first time like the last day of school after school I went on a little I went to a brunch or whatever with my friends it was fun it was great so at night it'll be 10 times better and downtown get new piercings the only piercing I want to get is I want to get my helix piercing right here at the top of my ear and I'm, I'm trying to convince my parents to let me get my nose pierced. But I, I think I'm think I'm making progress. Have a picnic at sunset. I want it to be on a hill. So I already know where I want to have it. Somewhere high enough where you could like kind of have a view. Host a telly. See me. Like if I host a telly. It wouldn't be nothing crazy. It wouldn't be nothing crazy. Like it would not be nothing crazy. But I mean first time for everything. And that first time I would like it to be this summer. Go to two plus concerts. So I'm already like almost done with this one. I'm going to a Bryson Tiller concert on the 29th of this month of June. And then Rod Wave is supposed to be coming back to my city. I'm not sure if that's true but I heard that and if he is I'll be going again because I already saw Rod once. It's time for round two. Go on a girls trip. <laughs> Me and my friends always plan a lot of trips. They just never make it out the group chat. So, and I, when I say girls trip, I don't mean just like go somewhere in our city. I mean go out the city, out the country, <laughs> the country, out our state at least. Go out the state. Get serious about doing nails. So y'all, I actually have gotten really good with this one. I ordered like $150 worth of quality nail supplies and it all just arrived today. So you will be getting a haul. Stay tuned. Post a party. See this one, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this this summer. I mean, you never know, like, I mean, like, never know, but, um, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. That's probably going to be one of the overflowers, but y'all get it. Save at least $800. So, my, that's one of my goals, because I can save money, like, I'm good at saving money, but I'm good at saving money to the point where it's like, I don't want to spend my money at all. So... I worked on that and now I feel like I'm spending too much start gymnastics so I used to be a gymnast I started doing gymnastics when I was like 12 and then I started doing cheer but honestly I feel like I want to cheer more than I want to do gymnastics because gymnastics I'm only like I'd say my best event is floor and cheer is all floor and I really like dancing like it's really fast paced that gymnastics is more slow and it like focus on you so if you mess up there's no going back. I like love gymnastics. I just feel like cheer. That one is either going to be star gymnastics or cheer. But the cheer season started. So that's going to be kind of hard. We'll see. We'll see. But that's just on the list. Dye my hair. A strip of it. 
in the back or on the side or something. I don't want to dye my whole head, but I want to get either pink. Y'all know I love me a good pink. Either pink, gingerish, or like like a like a brown, but like a light brown, so it'll stand out. Girls Night in and PowerPoints. So PowerPoints. There's a PowerPoint game where basically everybody makes a PowerPoint about something they present it. And the girls' night in is like self-explanatory. We just hang out inside. Go skating with a big group of people. So I love skating and I know a lot of my friends can't skate. So that's why we'll go with a big group. I feel like skating is more enjoyable if you're skating with someone. If not, you're just like going around the like roller ring, just going in circles. Like nobody likes that. So that's why I want to go with a big group of people. It'll be more fun. We could all interact. Stuff like that. Watch fireworks at the point on the 4th of July. The point is like a park in my city. I'll put a picture probably, but that's where I want to go to watch fireworks because the pictures that I saw from when people went there last year, beautiful. Like the fireworks show is beautiful. Create vlogs and content. I need to step my content game up because I've been slacking. I'm not going to lie. I've been slacking. But that's okay because it's summertime and summertime fine. Yeah, let's go. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Six Flags trip. So that's kind of Six Flags slash Cedar Point because I think I kind of want to go to... But have I, I think I've been to Cedar Point. I really don't remember, but I think I have been to Cedar Point. Everybody loves a good amusement park trip. Have a beach day slash take cute slash aesthetic pictures. Last time I went to the beach, I took a couple flicks, flicked it up, and it was so cute. And I just love going to the beach and taking like sunset pictures and stuff like that. So yes see a waterfall i want to see a waterfall really bad because i just think it's so cute like yeah go camping so in my house we have a board downstairs and it has like stuff that the family wants to do and other stuff too but yeah so go camping is on that list so i think i might actually go camping i'm not sure if it's going to be this summer but i know i'm going to go camping sometime soon go swimming at night outside i had to specifically put outside in there because if you go swimming at night at like a hotel, it really doesn't feel like it's night. Because all the lights and all that. Unless it's an outdoor pool. Um, but yeah, I feel like that'll be fun. going Because I don't think I went swimming. Oh, I have gone swimming outside at night. But like with my friends, it was really fun. So yeah. Have a huge water balloon slash water gun fight. So that could be with my friends or my family. Because that's just like stuff that we're interested in. So yeah. Go indoor skydiving. So I don't know if there's any skydiving, like indoor skydiving places in my city, but there could be. And that would be a great experience because I don't think I can legally go skydiving. It's a, well, is there an age limit on sky? I'll have to look that up. Even if there isn't an age limit, who's about to take me skydiving? So that's why I want to go indoor skydiving because I do want to go skydiving at some point, but I don't really think... I don't think anybody else will be up for it. Have a self-care day. I mean, everybody needs to take care of themselves. And for me, the self-care day, I would want it to be like, I wouldn't be on my phone or my iPad at all. It would be like a screen-free day, just taking care of myself and my well-being. Stuff like that. Play slip and slide kickball. So I don't know if y'all saw this slip and slide kickball, but it looks really dangerous. And I know my family is really competitive. So if we played, somebody's ankles would get messed up. But it's summertime. You have time to heal before you have to go back somewhere. And really, honestly, like, if we played this, just think about it. I'll, I'll have to insert the clip because I don't know if everybody knows what that is. But just watch the clip. Doesn't that just look like a great time? Like, tell me it doesn't look like a great time. Take a two-day trip to a water park. So the water park I usually go to is Kalahari. You could take friends, you could take family, stay in a hotel. There's obviously gonna be stuff to do, people to see, because other people's gonna take trips, so who knows, you might make a new friend. Have a shopping spree. So like I was saying, like, I'm trying to save money. So, I, I will start my cash app in the description, like, if you wanna help me out, but, Besides that, I don't think the shop, well, I shop a lot, but 
I'll probably have a Sheen shopping spree. That's what I'll do because I have a lot of um, points saved up on Sheen. So it'll be easier for me. Also, how do you say, how do y'all like pronounce Sheen? Do you say Sheen, Shine, Sheen? Let me know how y'all say it, how y'all pronounce that. Go thrifting. I want to go thrifting so bad. And honestly, I used to hate when I had to wake up early with my Nana or my Gmaw to go thrifting. But now I get it. Like, the wonders of thrifting. Like, imagine what you could find. You never know what you could get. But I would be real mad if I go thrifting and don't find nothing I like. So it's, it could be hit or miss. Go go-karting. So I always go go-karting. I don't always go, but I went like a good amount of times. So I think it'll be fun if I go with my friends and we just all go go-karting. Handwrite and send letters. So I handwrite a lot of things. I feel like anybody, I feel like this was like a good idea for anybody because it kind of like takes you back to the olden days when people didn't have phones and they had pigeons. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I like writing letters, but I don't send them to people. Like I, it's like if you saw like all, two other boys I loved before, I'm on my Laura Jean. Like I don't send my letters, but I write them. I want to start sending my friends letters because I just think that's so cute. Like it's just like a good way. I feel like it's a good way to connect because sending somebody a text is like everybody sends people texts so stick out and send a letter take disposable camera pictures with friends i really like taking pictures with my friends and so i feel like having a polaroid or a disposable camera would make that better because it's not just like taking a picture on an iphone and it's like because the quality sometimes is too good sometimes you want it to look like it's 1950 go on a road trip with friends I feel like road trips are just great times. Like, I love going on road trips with my family. And so, imagine if it was just mad friends. And then you go somewhere, like, it doesn't even have to be far. Like, you go, say you travel like an hour or something. You stay at a hotel, and it's just a good time. Have a photo shoot with friends. So, honestly, for this, I was thinking if I just get a backdrop and use my camera to take the pictures because I feel like that'll kind of make it better because when I had a photo shoot for my birthday, my 13th birthday, I had a photo shoot. It was just awkward because I didn't know who was taking my picture so I was just sitting there like, like I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't be myself. If you have a photo shoot with your friends, first of all, I feel like we will have to get at least correlating outfits but if you're taking a photo shoot like or having a photo shoot, get somebody you know to do it so then you don't have to be like all like tight. You can like let loose. Have a big karaoke night. So karaoke, it just seems fun. I don't think I've ever had like a night set for karaoke. I feel like it'll be a good time. Murder mystery slash case solving game. So if you guys haven't seen the murder mystery game where it's like an actual, it's not a real case, I don't think. It's basically you get somebody's like case, they were murdered or something, it gives you all the information, like gives you evidence, and stuff like that, and you just have to figure out the case. It seems really fun, but I'm into like crime, like I just like stuff like that so go on a staycation so staycations are basically you're still in your own city and you just go and get a hotel somewhere so for me I want to get a hotel downtown or it doesn't even have to be downtown but basically you're just at a hotel so it feels like you're on a vacation but you're really not but it feels like it I like staying in hotels so maybe that's why I feel like it'll be a good time maybe not for everyone but I just feel like that'll be fine. Have a themed party. This is just the example that I use for everything. If the theme is Steve Harvey, everybody has to come dress as Steve Harvey. Or if you have like the white lies party where it's like you wear a white t-shirt and everybody writes a lie on it, that. Or you can have like the rhyming party where it's like two people are in a pair and they dress up. It's like I'm bat and I'm cat. Like, yeah. Watch the sunset from a rooftop. That just sounds like, wow. But for me, I'm not waking up early to watch a sunset, so if I watch a sunset, I wouldn't have gone to sleep the night before. Have a pool day. So everybody loves going to the pool, I think. Go to the pool. If you have a pool, get in your pool. Invite people over. If you don't, go to the wave pool. Something like that. Go zip lining. So one thing that I want to do, I want to go to Go Ape. If you haven't heard of Go Ape, it's just like, I think it's just outdoor, like obstacle course basically. Go to a rage or a skate room. So a rage room basically is you're put in a room with stuff and you just break it. Like you're put in a room with glass and you just break all of that. Um, get your anger out. It's a rage room. And then an escape room, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what that is. But there's like different themes and say you're like yours is murder and you're trying to figure out how to get out of the room before a certain time is like up. Take a weekend trip. 
pulling all nighter. So I kind of almost did that yesterday on accident, but I was so tired. I stayed up till four, and it was not. I considered an all nighter staying up until eight a.m. Um, it could be later, like staying up like for the whole two days. I, mm -mm. But all nighters are like fun, especially if you're with somebody. Then it's like you just figure out stuff to do. But that's just like one thing. I feel like that's a summer. That's like a canon event. Like you have to have pulled an all-nighter at least once in your life intentionally not like oh I can't sleep have a painting picnic where you paint either canvases or tote bags it wouldn't really be considered a picnic because you're not eating as much as you are like painting so you have canvases and you can even do like fun canvas games like where you're both painting and then you switch every five minutes to like keep going on the other person's and tote bags so you can wear them and keep them and it's just like a memory that you can actually use. So yeah, make a memories slash scrapbook. Like I was saying, I like taking a lot of pictures with my friends and my family. So making a book and putting the picture in and writing something, like writing a date or something like that, I feel like that would be really cute. And you can look through that whenever, like, whenever, honestly. Have a cooking contest with your friends. So even if it's not cooking food, even if it's like baking something, like baking a cake from scratch, that's fun too. Last but not least is make and sell lemonade. So I'm pretty sure we all know what a lemonade stand is, but it's just like something fun and you can, it's like you can benefit off of it because you can make money. So it's like a two in one. I mean, if you don't like being outside or if you don't like selling stuff or like interacting with people, that might not be for you. But that's okay because you could just make lemonade like from scratch. So yeah, that was 50 things that you can do this summer. I hope you guys enjoy my list and do some of the things that's on it. If you have any other summer suggestions, leave it down in the comment box below because I could make a part two or I'll just put it on my list for next year. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know other video suggestions in the comments below. Bye!